Are you struggling with lag and low FPS in Roblox? In this video, I will show you the ultimate block strap settings to unlock max FPS and zero delay. Whether you're on a low-end PC, these tweaks will change the game for you. So let's dive into the video to boost your performance and lower your pings. The Up Booster is the best program to boost your FPS and fix lag in any game. However, in this video, we'll specifically explain how you can use Gear Up Booster to increase FPS and Roblox and eliminate lag. Make sure to grab this program for free from the link provided in the description to enhance your gaming experience. But first, what you guys want to do first is we're going to do tweaks in Windows itself. The first thing we're going to do is you guys want to click your Windows button to search performance, adjust appearance and performance of Windows. Click on that and copy the settings and click apply and click apply. OK, we are Windows button again. And then you guys want to type in graphic settings. When you type in graphic settings, then click browse and then click your Windows button again and search up Roblox. Then on Roblox Studio or Roblox Player, click open file location, then right click the Roblox Player, open file location on this, and this is what you guys want, Roblox Player Beta. So we're going to copy the directory, which is this part up here. You want to just click it once and it should like already be highlighted. Then click Control C and paste it on the other one, Control V, and then click Enter. Then click Roblox Player Beta, click Add. Mine is already added, but if it wasn't added, it should pop up this Roblox Game Clients. Click on it, click Options, click High Performance. Click Save. So now I'm going to show you Roblox's best FPS boost and fix lag pack. You can get this file from my official website. I give link in the description. Over here, you'll find in six sample folders, which are really crucial if you guys want to juice out all of your system's performance. Over here, you'll find CPU priority, which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. This will help you to optimize your CPU's performance. Similarly, you can do for Intel CPU if you have that. Second folder is for your RAM, where I have left a ton of RAM resets according to your PC. This will help you to set up the correct D word value for your RAM to use the correct amount of resources. And I have 32 GB RAM. You can double click according to your PC. And if it does not give out optimal performance, you guys can always reset it back from here. Guys, now I'm going to recommend you Gear Up Booster, which you can grab for free using the link in the description. Just launch the tool, select Fortnite, and it will automatically connect you to the most optimal server for the lowest possible ping. As an example, I've managed to reduce my latency by 11 milliseconds, which has improved my overall performance by more than 100%. I've been using this for all the games I play on my PC. So, be sure to check it out using the link in the description. Fourth is PC optimization where I have left three command prompts. These are the batch files that will help you to fix your input latency, improve your RAM and C2's performance, and help you to reduce lags and stutter. All of them will help you to perform a few commands that you do not have to type it in and it will help you to improve your PC's performance. Fifth one is a power plan settings, which is really important. Setting that the current power plan will help you to distribute power equally and gain extra performance out of your hardware. And for that, simply right click and run this as administrator. Once you've done that, click on power plan options and will open up your control panel. Over here, you will find preferred plans and high radiation plans. You just have to look for ultimate performance that should be added in here. You have to select that and make sure that you are using that. This will save all power saving features and help you to juice out any kind of performance out of your hardware. Last and not the least is the programs where I have left some useful programs that you guys can utilize to improve the performance of your processor and your RAM. Namely, clean temporary files over here that will help you to clean all cache files of your PC, you have to run this as administrator. And this will politely ask you to press any key to continue. And as you do that, it will start deleting all temporary files. And do not worry, it is completely safe to do so. These are the files that are created by applications running in the background, and they are no longer in use. Next is MSI Mode Util 3.0. We are using this to set up the interrupt priority for our graphic card. Once again, right click and run this as administrator. And in this list, you'll find all of the hardware connected to your PC. You have to look for your graphic card, click on the MSI button in front of it, and for the interrupt priority, go and set it to high. This will help you to manage interrupts on your graphic card easily, and this will help you to optimize your game performance as well. Last is Unpack CPU, and this is a very useful application. Simply double click to open it up, 
And once you are here, you're gonna have to slide the score parking index all the way up to 100% and click on apply. This will basically disable core parking on your PC. It is a concept which is used in Windows, wherein if your processor is not completely in use, it will park the cores to save power. And, and when you are playing the games, majority chances are some of the cores are parked, which may be causing FPS issues and micro stutters. Disabling core parking will help you to improve your PC's performance drastically. Once that is done, close it now. We're going to do some optimizations for your pink. You can get this file from my official website. I give link in the description. Last time we were here, I explained that y'all should copy my cusp settings that I had. This is not the case anymore. Quick and simple. All you guys want to do is want to go to the bottom right hand side and click optimal and just click apply changes and click OK. That's it. Once it's done, it's going to ask you to restart your computer again. Then you will restart your computer. Then it come back to the video again. 